Hey, hey guys! Welcome back! Uh, let's turn this hell machine off to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server. Let me clear my clip here and yeah, we mastered it now. Ah yeah! <laughs> We've been having a blast here literally, doing a nice live stream where we tried to machine out and rebuild it and actually perfect it, perfected it now. And yeah, as you can see, all right, that's it, the end of the clip. <laughs> we blasted out a gigantic area here already and actually are able to move forward. Um, yeah, let's do that real quick, right? If you press this button and we turn off the machine now, we can actually yeah, scoot along and move the whole machine forward. Everything works now and as you can see I'm in Quake Pro view. That makes it also possible that you actually see the minecart and then you will not make the mistake to hit it. And as you could see, right, turning off the machine, um, that means pushing a block inside the gas again so they can't see you, is done by hitting the target block here with the actual gas charge. Um, that's uh, probably something you guys wondered what if Doc runs this hell machine will he be trapped on there forever? No, <laughs> we won't. We won't. So yeah, before we kick off today's episode and look at what we found down here in the nether with our crazy machine, I want to of course give a huge shout out to the fan artist of today's episode. It is Marsh Art. Links to the Instagram and Twitter in the video description. Uh, thank you so much for your amazing fan art uh, for this uh, episode thumbnail. Uh, make sure to check him out or check them out guys. And um, yeah, if you are down to commission any work, artwork also, I recently tweeted about that. All the fan artists, um, you know, that want to maybe, you know, take some commissions or sell the fan art using my likeness that was used in the thumbnail, have my go ahead, I um, mean, to do so. Um, I don't know, you know. Just want to make sure you got my full support. I mean, it's not I, not like that. I have copyright on my stuff, and yeah, you know the drill. But um, yeah, feel free uh, to contact the artists and give them a nice shout um, because yeah, it's just amazing what they do. All right, let's switch back to normal camera view. Uh, that's better. I'm more used to that. And maybe um, turn the particles on again <laughs> before we forget. Okay, so yeah, rebuilt the machine, uh, really didn't take too long, as I said, roughly 20 minutes of redoing the redstone, uh, as you can see the melon uh, by now popped as well as we moved with the machine, um, and yeah, put the gas back in. Now of course, if it would break now, it would be a bit of a, more of a hassle, because well, we moved away from our starting position here, right? So if we would want to reload it, we would have to bring this over here and get the piston back in again uh, to reload. So now we need to be careful not to break it because now it would be a little bit more of a hassle to reload it. Well, we've been, uh, you know, blowing stuff, stuff up down here. In total, I found four ancient debris in uh, about one hour. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not really efficient, right? And, um, I have one more additional ancient debris when we were digging out the place before, right? So we got five now. Uh, four is good enough though to, yeah, fulfill the purpose <laughs> and get the perfect block for our, uh, yeah, sand uh, builds up in front. So all is good, uh, machine is working, but uh, obviously <laughs> when you think all is good, uh, more problems occur. So, obviously, um, we try to play without really scouting the seed, right? And I, I'll stick to that. Uh, when I showed the slime chunks, obviously, it's really easy to find slime chunks. You don't need, um, you know, the seed for that. But um, it was a nice way to visualize all the cool tools the tech community can use. So, yeah, I don't really take advantage of the seed. I haven't looked at it. I uh, haven't pulled a world download yet. I, yeah, I am blind. And, yeah, that cost... A problem. Well, where I built the machine, I scouted ahead a little bit, but not too far. Uh, turns out, yeah. What is here? Someone's raid farm? And it's broken portal? Yeah, I found a portal down here. Anyways, um, yeah, it's basalt delta all the way. And yeah, we can keep on going here uh, until render distance. All you can see is basalt delta. And that <laughs> obviously is a little bit of a problem 
for our machine because yeah we cannot break the basalt blocks with it that means we can <laughs> we made it to up here <laughs> like i don't know 50 blocks forward and then already ran into the basalt and um, yeah we can blast out sideways so i'm gonna move the machine forward a little bit further and then blast uh, quite some ways this direction and then we can also blast a bit to over this direction we almost have 180 degrees spread with the machine so we will be able to uncover some more down here but uh, yeah with this tunnel bore uh, i think <laughs> yeah we will be limited unfortunately um, i'm already thinking maybe you know to build another tunnel bore in front of that thing and to blast my way through the whole basalt delta and then you know move the machine along and go further back I mean, that would often, uh, obviously be an option and make a nice compact nether tunnel bore that is actually really efficient. That, of course, would also be a nice technical challenge. Right? Indeed. Okay, so yeah, we're happy. Machine works, though. Operating is, is not that hard if you're not acting like a complete fool and hit the minecarts twice. Um, oh yeah, here is the other agent debris we found. We might take that with us and yeah we got uh, potions of fire resistance in here i uh, can take that too you know um, in case lava breaks through we used a few to patch up uh, the ceiling but normally we we should be low and don't hit too much lava but there's always individual lava pockets as well here and there so yeah i guess um, that is one of the projects we can definitely try you know build an, a small but efficient tunneler that makes a big enough hole for this machine to fit through and then we just fly to the promised land somewhere back there. <laughs> That's the plan. Last week in the episode I said I wanna go on an end raiding session together with Jevin. Unfortunately, that didn't happen and really have good reasons for that. <laughs> Over the past few days it was perfect weather outside. Um, you know, summer feelings, 20 degrees Celsius and warmer. And yeah, I had to take the chance and yeah, do as much as possible outside with Doki. And we did. We went swimming, we went shopping for shoes because that was needed because Doki is starting to walk now. Yeah, things are happening. And we went to, to the playgrounds, we did a bike tour, you know, all kinds of stuff. I met with other kids. So yeah, it was great times. Therefore, I had to make a decision either creep around forever slow or. Just come to Elytra Island <laughs> here by Iskjal and um, yeah, buy one. And I actually did. I bought the Super Wings for 25. I pressed the button here once we did that during the live stream. You have a chance to get, you know, free Elytra. Um, pressed it but only got a wood plank, so we had to pay. And yeah, there's only four were available and now there's only two more. And yeah, there's our 25 diamonds right there. And at the same time, Jeff opened up a first rocket shop over there and uh, yeah I was able to buy rockets and we're out of rockets and we need to get more. Um, I'm not gonna rename them for now the Super Wings DM <laughs> by Iskjal until we get our own ones. Uh, definitely want to do one more end busting session. Also eventually we need to build a shulker farm. We need to go there. I need shulker shells. But yeah um, I think it was worthwhile trading end busting versus having a good time with little Doki, I think that's cool. What is that? False beans. Okay, gotta check that out later too. All right, so here rocket shop by Jevin and he also has a coral adventure. Spend four diamonds and get entry to the coral adventure. What that? Let's have a quick read. Coral Adventure. If you spend four diamonds in my shop, you earn one chest at the Coral Adventure. Location in front of the entity. Rules. You can only open one chest. Once you choose your chest, take the numbered paper out and return it here. Okay, limit one chest permit until restock. Okay. Numbered paper? All right, I, I spent uh, diamonds already. I mean, I spent two diamonds to buy the, the rockets. We're gonna spend some more. Is there also no Schalke box on this shop? Ah, man, I already put a Schalke box up on Iskjal's shop. People not be putting Schalke boxes at their shops. How am I gonna access my wallet? All right, but anyways, we're gonna spend four more diamonds, so that's uh, then for sure. 
uh, one diamond, so we can get eight stacks of rockets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and we, yeah, we can put some in here. I need to get Schalke boxes mm, 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 for sure. Okay, and we are allowed to take two more stacks. Jeff made it so he has a big storage upstairs and uh, kind of the barrels down here refill, which is kind of smart and cool. And yeah, I'm I'm thinking, hmm, should I donate another Schalke box to this cause here? Uh, am I blind? But there is none, right? Maybe one could be sitting here in the middle. I'll put one there for now. <laughs> Jeff can put it wherever. <laughs> he cannot open it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's a good troll. All right, uh, let's load up on rockets. Ah, oh, man, having Elytra is absolute win. And let's go for in front of the entity. There is corals down there. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so Jeff made a cool coral reef down here. That is nice. Oh, okay, I'll pick this chest here. Ooh! More rockets! Number 14 was discovered. Cool! Free rockets! Me likey! <laughs> I like free stuff. Okay, let's let's return the, the paper to Jeff as he asked for... Uh, come on, take off. Ah, oh, flying! It's like a team rocket balloon, actually, now if I look at it, right? <laughs> All right, uh, boom, and put the paper back. Cool, so he knows which chests to refill, I guess. Super cool. Okay, ah, now we also get a nice view on Carrot Hill. Uh, what the heck is Izuma up to? <laughs> that looks crazy. <laughs> I think that's an iron farm up in there. All right, and of course, of course, guys. April's Fools. Secret April's Fools. Right? Guess who pressed the button already? <laughs> I recorded it, but I won't spoil it to you yet. Um, but I'm just saying this. If you sign up, you accept any prank. Right? That means anything goes. Oh crap, we need to return the book to Jevin. Alright, I'm in the preparation for the prank. That is gonna be our main focus for today. It's gonna be glorious. And it's gonna be scary. Well, we're back over in the nether here. And yeah, we're doing the preparations for our prank. I'm building a long offshoot line here. I need to make a lot of glass now to cover it so the gas won't shoot. And yeah, we need to transport the gas all the way over there. So this ray line goes beyond the gold farm and then to a portal somewhere over there. Which is on a specific location to connect to a certain hermit's area. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna get 24 guests and put them there. And then we will teach them a little lesson. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm up here at the guest farm. We got eight, good enough for a start. And yeah, there's our long rail line. And while we're here, we can already name them. But this time around, I don't want to silence them. Because, you know, a guest is way less scary if they're not, uh, you know, shouting and screaming at you. So, yeah, we don't want to silence them. That also means storing the guests. So, you know, our target... Uh, 16, yeah, that's it. Our target cannot hear them. Means we need to be at least 80 blocks away for guests uh, not to be audible. Alright, so here's our long track where we transport stuff. Okay, I'm gonna look mainly over there. Mainly over there. Now look down. <laughs> Now walk sideways. Ah, Impulse spo spoiled it in his live stream anyways already. People are onto us, guys. People are onto us. They are figuring out how poppy technology works. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Maybe, you know, I'm talking to Maddie at the moment if you should show how it's fully done. Because slowly but surely people are catching on. Um, so yeah, let's check the connection here. This is the portal. We're gonna send the gas through to store them. Please be still connected properly. Yes. 
Oh my god, you have no idea how much of a pain in the butt this was to get this portal here. In the middle of spawn town somewhere. There's so many portals I had to disable a few and now I'm in a rush before hermits come back and discover. We're somewhere at spawn below somebody's base. And what we got here is a water elevator going all the way up. And here is a piston that will hold the gas in place. So now we need to send all the gas over here into the portal area and store them. And um, yeah, make sure they're held down by this piston. And then we can break out the portal frame ceiling here. And then they are just trapped in here. And you know, when we trigger this piston, they will shoot up like crazy in this water elevator that is in the corner here uh, behind. Um, those, um, what we call it, uh, scaffolding, right? And here we have the standard portal holding room, four wide portal for them to arrive, so they're perfectly in here. They can come over here a little bit as it is five wide, uh, just to make sure they don't suffocate. What we have to do then when we have them over here, we do this. Right, we use this piston here to get them really stuck in. But now I really um, need to make sure we close everything off here. And, um, you know, so the gas cannot see us at all because when they shoot and, um, yeah, potentially hit this, this would be a problem, right? Our water column and then we have to kill the gas and start over so we can't screw up. Gotta retract this bad boy. Alright, and now this gas chamber should be cool. Um, I need to get out of here again. I need to dig another tunnel to get down here into the area without any gas seeing me. So I think I'll go up and dig down another quick drop shoot here. Yeah. All right, let's send our first guest on its journey. Um, okay, we need to send the gas to over there. Okay, let's go behind our, whoop, inside the guest protective shield. And then the gas should make a right turn there. Let's try, send one. Stay here, yes. No, 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 no. Okay, that's a problem. We need to have to, uh, the rail one block higher. Or keep our distance to them. I mean, it's a risk. We don't want to blow anything up here. Okay. Gas is moving. That's a stupid mistake. Yeah, glass layer needs to be one block higher. But... On the other hand, here we should here we are safe now. You can't shoot us, right? Okay. Gas on its way towards the portal, and in. Yes. Oh no, not in yet. We're still going. Yep. Went through. Went through. Cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the overworld and uh, check um, if the gas actually are sitting in place. Perfect. They're perfectly in there and they're touching the water elevator. I can push them even more over in the corner just to be 100% sure. And they're held in place by the piston. Yep. Everything is going according to plan. So that's one gas in. Only 24 more to go. All right, and there we go. Number 24, the last one. We can't do more because, well, you know, over 24 entity cramming will start. So that's the max. Uh, otherwise, we would have to make a second holding chamber. And as it was already a pain in the butt to link all the portals, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, breaking that connection here now. So that's done. Where did the netherite go? And now we need to make sure to relink all the portals we broke and fix everything, but we have the guest in place. All right, I'm digging down to the guest. Oh, <laughs> okay, we got in reach. Yeah, above us, so we're deep enough. You can't hear a thing from the surface, but if you go lower, <laughs> the 
That's crazy. Okay, let me... Let's see. There might be a cave on the way or so, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the way. Oh, how loud! Yeah, here's the cave. Okay. Okay, we need to completely cap that off. This shaft we will later use to trigger the whole thing. But it will also be our access way now. Okay, let's keep on digging. Yep. Alright. Holy moly. Okay, in there we got 24 gas now. Whoa, yeah, and we pushed them all into the corner. It's so loud. Yep. Oh my god. This might be... This might end up in complete insanity. <laughs> okay. So here, later, we cannot break this blocks here. We gotta be careful. This holds the piston out, but now we wanna break one of the portal blocks to make sure we disconnect. Just need to make sure they can't see us. Okay, cool. Close that off again. Okay, that's good for now. And later, we need to dig in here and take out the ceiling. One, two, three. It should be here, right? Let's have a quick peek. We gotta be careful so they don't see us. Yeah. We gotta hammer out the complete ceiling there without them seeing us. Hopefully that works. <laughs> But we got him in. That was the most tricky part. Now I need to get out of here again. Well, <laughs> I guess I cannot hide it anymore. Um, yeah. Guess who we picked. Here, check it out. And, you know, pay notice to the very calm and totally not excited reaction afterwards. <laughs> no. <laughs> no frantic laughter at all. Ain't that funny? The pesky bird himself, the originator of this thing. So yeah, somewhere, somewhere around here, there's a gas system hidden. And this is the trigger. <laughs> um, we all know Grian, right? He can never, never resist, you know, to press a button. Ever. It's, it's impossible. And this one here, this will tempt him so much that he will never be able to refuse to press it. When Grian presses this button, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Up. <laughs> so we shall see. And hopefully this will teach him a lesson. Not to press random buttons everywhere. Ain't that right, pesky bird? Oh man. <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait. <gasps> oh. <gasps> he looked on. <laughs> oh my god, I've been waiting all day. <laughs> Who's on? Oh, full house. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I was just about to begin my terraforming. I have all the resources now. Oh my god. There he is. He's looking at his stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, just act unsuspicious. Hello. Ah, okay, the standard. No, just act normal. Oh, okay, here, here. We should have a good view from here. 
There's the button. It's it's right there. Okay, we can hide here. Wait. It might be too suspicious if we sneak around here. There's the button. There he is. Oh my, I so want to hear what he says now. Oh my god, did he see it already? Who fly? Somebody flew by. Holding the totem of undying. Okay, the button is still untouched. What is he doing? Oh god, this can turn into an hour long waiting game. I'm already hanging out here forever. <gasps> oh god, I have my voice on. <laughs> turn off voice, freaking idiot. Who fly? Who that? Was that him? Does he have an elytra now already? No, I don't think so. I saw him post the other day on Discord. He asked if somebody was down for some end busting. I don't think. Our sign is not rendering in, but it's there. I double checked. Bro, if somebody pressed the button. But I don't think so. I didn't see frantic messages in Discord. <laughs> oh, he's, he's doing something. Where is he? Please don't let it be the day where you think you need to take down. Oh my god. Where is he? Okay, we're gonna sneak around the other side. Maybe we can get a glimpse. But we need to act not suspicious and not stare at him or something. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. You know, <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a, I can't get distracted. That's actually a cool design, though. Okay. Let's go to iTrade and pretend we're buying some books. <laughs> Nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. I'm not looking over. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, there here is I trade. Yeah, we need to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, fire books. He's looking straight at us. He looks straight at us. Oh my god. Just a. Oh, I'm acting way too suspicious. He will catch on. He's way too sneaky. Now I don't dare to open the door. Is he still there staring at us? He looked at us straight. Okay, I'm done with my shopping. Let's just walk out and... Okay, he's gone. Oh my god. Why did he just look at us like this? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I'm digging my Don't know where he is. He was there just a second ago. Alright. Let's just unsuspiciously build here my terraforming and planning. I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. You saw me building here for hours before green, right? Looks totally not suspicious at all. Okay, let's... Okay, now I'm going over here looking at things. Let's eat, let's eat. Oh, what a shame. I'm out of pie. I need to walk over there and buy pie as I regularly do. <coughs> oh, what's over there? There's a ship. Is this Scar? Is that him? That Scar! Oh my god, Scar is there. They're messing about. Oh, they're talking to each other. Oh lord have mercy. Nope, don't. 
I'm just walking along here, buying Giga Pies. <coughs> Ooh, interesting. It's llamas. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh, a new shop to explore. Wow, it's actually really cool. What is this shop? Two quarts. It's cup shop. Oh. Wait, what? No, it's a storage. <laughs> not everything is a shop, dog. Oh my god, I'm not. <gasps> He's right next to it. He's right next to it. I saw it. He's right next to it, guys. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. I saw it. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, he's right next to it. <laughs> oh my god. No! What is this keybind stuff that also constantly comes up? <gasps> he's not there anymore. Did he press it? What? <gasps> oh, I saw his feet there. Oh. Just keep on walking and suspiciously Tango logging out. I think he was live streaming. Oh my god, he was next to it. Oh, my whole body is tense. He was right next to it. Oh my god. We could use. Wait. We could use cam account. We could use cam account to spy on him. Oh my god, why didn't I think about that before? Why is Scar hiding behind the <gasps> Oh! No, no, no. Stay away. Stay over there. Oh, no, no. You stay away. <laughs> what? Is he shooting at me? No, don't. Okay. Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> Everything's on fire. <laughs> Why do they stop shooting them? Kill them. We cannot have gas lose. Trying to snipe because he has no elytra. Wait, did Scar bail on him? Did Scar bail on him? Oh, what is over there? <laughs> oh, a bunch of them are out of render distance. Oh my god, there's Scar running around frantically. Oh yes, okay, I think the damage was not so bad. God, there's lots of fires though over there. <laughs> Doc, what's this? You? Why do they ask me? Why is there? <laughs> Button? Oh my god.
Gott, der ist so gaslos. <lacht> oh mein Gott, some escaped. We got gassed loose on the server now. <laughs> oh my god, that was so glorious. I loved every second of this. Doc, was this you? <laughs> was this you? <laughs> was this <laughs> What? I had my gas storage down there. Did you press the button? No, no. You oh. knew I'd press the button. <laughs> you know I'm weak. I'm sorry. Um, is there much damage? That was, that was amazing. No, <laughs> just my dignity. That was amazing. How did you even do that? How do you make gas do anything? Yeah, it was a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, hey, silent elf. Is Scar muted? <laughs> Oh no, no, I'm just cleaning up the damage dock, just cleaning the neighborhood up, you know, it was a nice neighborhood we had, it was clean, it was nice. I'm sorry. What's we're, the, leaving, I, we're leaving a couple fly, floating around just because like, they're, they're, no, they're not a problem. Oh wow, yes. <laughs> okay. So that's that's Fred and that's Stan Doc. Yeah, and, they're just uh, hanging out. They're our friends. Okay. I, mean, Doc, I can't that, see this being a problem. No. Nah. was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> I've never seen... I'm so glad I got on when I did. But, well, actually, I was AFK. I came out of being AFK and saw... I, hands down, the best thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen one fly in the overworld, ever. So it's... Oh, I what? should have guessed who it was when I said, this is cursed. I was like, this is so <laughs> cursed to seeing all these gas flying around. Wait, but you all got an achievements, right? Unholy. Yeah, what did we get? Uneasy yeah. Alliance. Killing a gas. gas from the nether, bring it safely to the overworld, and then kill it. That's a real thing? Yeah, see, well, you're welcome. Free enchantments. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Oh, right. oh, but yeah, I was thinking there might be more devastation. I was really scared because, you know, Scar's giant tree right next uh, to... I know, it's that. fine. We should have, maybe I should have just sat in Scar's tree for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Fire Tick is off on the server. I know, that's what I thought too. But honestly, just seeing them explode was worth it. I'm always here for a good explosion. Oh, it was glorious. Did everything work? Did you get the messages? Like the, the, the pieces of paper? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, <laughs> nice. you were warned, enjoy the show. You really <laughs> pressed it. I thought there was just a piece of paper, I didn't realize. Wait, where did they come from? Mm. Mm, well, I might have made... Are we allowed to, is it behind yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, Are we allowed yeah, to reveal yeah. the curtain? I, I might have taken advantage of Mumbo being away. <laughs> oh, the, the, uh, the copper curtain. Yeah, wait, we can oh, dig into here. Oh, back here? Yeah, we can dig into here, then you can look down. Like here, I had the gas down there all the way, 90 blocks down, so you cannot hear them, you know. And then, oh, and then the bubble <laughs> elevator yeah. shot them up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. How many were there? 24. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. How do you wrangle a, a gas? Well, um, watch my episode to find out. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm so he's sad. He's too good at that. Oh, he survived. I saved myself. <laughs> saved yourself with water. Oh, wow. There's a guest right above you. I love <laughs> this. I keep don't worry them. about Stan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, theoretically, they don't shoot at you if you're too far down. In relation yeah, to them, they seem so. to be hanging out really high up, so... Yeah, I don't know how many survived. Could be more than two. I think, I think there's three. I counted three. All right. Okay. Now let's see which hermit encounters them next. <laughs> We should bring more of them out. <laughs> okay, I got the setup ready now. Just yeah, let me yeah, know. Yeah, more. <laughs> uh, I think we've lost one. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, so you know, Stan Stan was all about freedom, and he took off to live his life in the woods as a as a as a woodsman. Yeah, he's gone. Bye, Stan. <laughs> Be free. <laughs> Be free. What the heck is going on at spawn? <laughs> it's a day later now, and I just reviewed the footage of yesterday. And my god, when I laugh, it really sounds like eating the microphone. But I had to muffle myself, you know, muffle my mouth because it was like like 12.30 in the night and I couldn't laugh that loud not to wake Doki up. And it literally sounded like I'm eating the mic. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, there's a cookie monster with elf ears. <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh my god. What the It's every yo know, the whole the whole shopping district is pranked. I just wanted to check if somebody bought stuff. No. Oh! Alright, I thought this was the prank by now that nobody's buying anything. Hey, we sold actually quite a bunch of slime for eight diamonds. Ooh, more. Okay. 12 diamonds made with the slime shop. That's all right. That's actually pretty all right. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? This is gonna be crazy. I can't wait to watch all the episodes. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So 22, 23 and more here. Oh, it's starting to catch on. Oh baby! A whole chest was sold. Oh man, I have to go poppy shoveling. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, what they did to Keralis' house. <laughs> okay, we made 45 diamonds from our shop's weight. Didn't we have a chest upstairs where we said we want to put our, all our shop profits in or something? So we keep an, keep an overview. Didn't, where did I put that? Ah yeah, exactly. Okay. So first we had these three diamonds, now 45. Ain't too shabby if you ask me. <laughs> what is also not shabby? <laughs> oh god, look at Kira. <laughs> Here, I want to show you. I found I found some of our stray guests when I was flying over to my village. Here over the mountain, wait. Somewhere around here. <laughs> Huh? What is this? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, goat mother! Is this you? What are you doing here? Oh, wow! Somebody's worshipping the goat! What? What is it down there? Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> is this my prank? Gary the goat? What? I mean, my village is just right there. <gasps> oh man, maybe they were unsure where to put it. I was waiting for it. Alright, let's check it. Gary the goat. This must be for me. Right? I mean, my, my, my village is right there. Yeah, who else? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh my god, who else would it be for, even? <laughs> That's so cool, it looks amazing. <laughs> that wants me, makes me want to build another goat mother. Alright, um, what's going on here? Gary the goat. One item in the game makes me very happy and rewards you. Other items makes my stomach sad, something sad and gassy, <laughs> what? Will this thing fart or what? <laughs> Wait, can you figure out what item I like? Feel free to test as many items as you want till you figure it out. Feed me. Drop a guest item in the hopper. Clue. I am yellow but also green. A bit of red and maybe white. 
I am everywhere but hard to find. I make you rich and satisfied. What? I am yellow and also green? And a bit of red and maybe white? What? I mean... I'm yellow and a little bit of green and white and what is it? Azure blue it? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. <laughs> a bit of red is not in there. Huh? Oh! Oh, all right, all right, <laughs> mighty goat. I'm sorry. Oh, that is what the farting is. It'll drop TNT? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, um, I'm sorry, mighty goat. I'll... What can this be? I'm so bad with riddles. I'm yellow, but also green. A bit of red and maybe white. Um, I mean, thinking about the colors, right? It's a melon. It has all the colors uh, it says on the sign. And magma cream, maybe? But I'm kind of thrown off by the... It makes you rich and satisfied. I'm yellow. Yeah. But also green, yeah. A bit of red and white. I mean, okay, let's throw this bad boy in. Oh. How about actually throwing it in? I mean, that makes no sense at all, but it has the colors. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Melon is everywhere, but kind of hard to find, I guess, sometimes. But I make you rich and satisfied. I mean, you can eat, right? You can eat it, then you'll be satisfied. Toss a melon. No. I make you rich and satisfied. Is it glistering melon? Mm. Mean. Let's see. Some gold here. Give me some. What? How do you even make glistering melon? Totally forgot. Like, do you need? I think you need like this, yeah. Glistering melon. I mean, yeah. Oh no, sky rats. Sleep. Hmm. Glistering. Me I mean, but why? It doesn't make you rich. Gold makes you rich. Is it a wordplay? Millionaire. <laughs> oh man. Huh? You eat golden mel melons? Glistering melons? No. Hmm, yeah, that won't make you rich and satisfied. Oh boy. Right now I'm totally not in the Discord server of Psycraft with like eight super smart people trying to figure that out going through the complete item list. <laughs> not at all. Right? <coughs> what? What are you doing out here? It's literally above my village now. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Really? Well, <laughs> talking about a prank backfiring. They were out there in the villa <laughs> valley of gas. Why is it here now? Did somebody lure it over? Oh my god. So it's an hour later now. I brought Doki to bed and I saw there's more signs there. So the pranker came back. Clue 2. I have very little value. I'm not in caves nor in water. I'm not myself. I'm something else. Don't look for me, you won't see me.
What? Now I'm even more confused. <laughs> what? I have very little value? I'm not myself? I'm something else? Don't look for me, you won't see? Me? I am like... This makes no sense. Oh, wait. Frustrated? Yes! Break cobble for frustration clue. Oh, I don't trust this. What if this is rigged? What do we do? I guess... I mean, I have no clue what... Don't look for me, you won't see it. I'm not in caves, I'm not in water. Okay, it's somewhere... Uh, it's under overworld. And it's supposed to be yellow, green, red and white. And makes me rich and satisfied. I mean, that clue doesn't... It has no value. I'm... Okay. <laughs> Time to break the frustration cobble. I grow. You need a hoe. What? So I grow. You need a hoe. Um, I mean, the only thing that is remotely resembling what is described here, especially the red and white, like, is a carrot. Yellow, but it's not really green. I'm not myself, I'm something else. Don't look for me, you won't see. I mean, I see the carrots, so okay, I'm combining. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's it. It cannot be a normal carrot, right? You pooping again? Yeah. So it's not normal carrot. But I have very little value though. That counted. I was thinking maybe it's a golden carrot because I'm not myself. I'm something else. So I, I am a carrot, but I'm not really myself. I have gold on me, so golden carrot. All right. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is literally the last thing I can think of. I feel very stupid right now, but I have no clue, man. I, I mean, that's literally the last thing I can think of. Golden carrot. Let's make some golden carrot, shall we? All right. Well, I mean, it is yellow then, but no longer green anymore. And surely not white and red, so I... I see zero chances pretty much this is working. I'm desperate. I'm trying everything I can uh, even remotely conclude. All right, golden carrot it is. Nope. I'm... Yeah, I'm... I have no idea. I mean, I looked through all the plants in I guys I'm sorry <laughs> I can't figure it out you gotta help me out here I have no clue I mean maybe I'm just but you know I, I, I even asked the hive mind they couldn't figure it out maybe I'm overthinking it I but I'm I'm stuck well I guess <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna breathe over this the whole way. You gotta help me, guys. In the comment section, please relieve my pain. I will let you know on Twitter then if it worked, alright? <laughs> Whoever did this to me. Why? <laughs> See you next time. Bye!